Okay, guys. Welcome to the episode. I look, I look like a ninja tail. No, I look like I'm in scuba gear. Okay. I am kitted out and um, going to do my leg session. Um, what I want to show you now is pretty much what goes into my gym bag of a leg day. So let's get things on the way. So pretty much, I think in anyone's gym attire, they need to ensure they pack a change of clothes. So I am just filling, filling up my gym bag with my towel, obviously my change of clothes, what I'm gonna get changed into after my workout because especially if it's a weekend, what you don't wanna do is be sweating and staying in that sweat for a long period of time. And then next thing, important thing is Scotches. These are um, Adidas. Uh, I don't know what they're called. To be fair, I think they're power lifts. Um, but for me, I go. I went online to this place called Wiggle.co.uk, and they do a lot of decent um, sport gear. And pretty much, predominantly, I said to myself, these these were about maybe seventy pound where usually they're about 120 something. So I was like, no brainer. Drop top, baby, it's a no brainer. Might as well get them, they're not like the latest ones out there, but for what they are, they give your heel a bit of a boost. And because of that, you are in a, it's like putting plates under your feet when you're squatting. So it's what I have for. Also importantly, I have my RDX clip on powerlifting belt and again it's a bit worn out as you can see pretty much I've had this for about three years now and again it goes round in clips and then when you're done ah! so pretty much do you need to get lifting shoes no do you can you squat barefoot yes uh, I also squat in, uh, what are they called? Americans call them chucks, but they are not called chucks in the UK. They are called converse. So I also have got converse that I squat in. And uh, do you need a lifting belt? Well, if you're going really heavy, then it's advised. But if your weights aren't too heavy to cause you any pain, then I wouldn't, I don't think you would need it. Um, ultimately, most importantly is your water intake when you are doing heavy leg days or even anything heavy in the gym. Whoa, pardon me. And if you need like a kick, then a stimulant, which for me is a kind of monster. For you, it can be a caffeine tablet, it can be pre-workout, it can be a coffee, black coffee, you know, it doesn't really have to be gimmicky, but we are off, so just see you later. What's going on guys, so Chino HD training episode, we don't do episodes, so what is today, today is Saturday, uh, today is a way day and it's a successful way day so um, I'll probably show you the chart later on but um, so far we are what week four and weight is going down progressively well I'm 225.7 uh, last week I was 227 but the week before I was 226 point something so increase from last week uh, notably because I let's just say I you know I enjoyed some food and um, I enjoyed, <laughs> that's, that's my inner conscious coming out um, but yeah I enjoyed food I've been more on plan this week and we have had a good result so 225.7 which is a new low weigh-in anyway more importantly we have things that are going to help us stay on track this week and get my protein up so I'll show you
So guys, excited to try these into my routine. So what have I got that clear uh, protein drink and not like a protein shake or usual protein powder? Well, my protein's good. I need to get more water and I'm finding I'm not getting enough water in for the day. Something like this, which is kind of like how you drink BCAA, uh, a clear whey powder, or clear whey drink or clear protein drink will give me ample enough reasons to stick it into my jug of water and to get more water in if it means I'll be getting in more gains. And also, uh, I love protein bars and I've never tried these before and they have good reviews. So my take on those, is it the carb crushes are to give them a go and see where I find it. Okay, what's going on guys? So we are back. So it's a bit of uh, later in the afternoon type thing. Didn't show you where I went to earlier because I went to meet up a good friend at the Interest Eating Company and we had amazing pancakes. And from that point went off to my niece's first birthday party, which was crazy. Uh, but now we're back and I am getting my, oh you can't see it, getting my caffeine up for the gym. It's a leg day, it's six o'clock now, but I'm gonna give it about, I had big meals, so I'm gonna give it about 40 minutes to an hour for this to die down, let this kick in, and then going to do an intense leg day. I'll take you with me as well. But yeah, um, so, verdict on a vegan peanut carb crusher. No. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! It tastes worse than what I'd imagine cardboard would taste like. Mm. Sorry. That was me remembering eating it up. Um, yeah, I mean, make me wanna puke. I've got like halfway eaten. This is what it looks like. Looks like that. And that's meant to be the peanut butter center. And it's anything but peanutty. Um, I, I wish I could have shown you Becca's reaction to it. She pretty much uh, stuck it in the mouth and then spat it back out. That's what she said. <laughs> I ate half of it and I was like, no. So I saved this just so I could do the review, uh, but not really a fond of my protein carb crushes. And you know, I'm yet to try out the clear way but hopefully the clear way isn't that bad. I've seen good reviews about it. So yeah, gonna see how that goes. And well, I'll taste test it after the gym. But yeah, see you later guys. So how's it going guys? I am in the gym, it's about half seven. And just make my way up to get my stretch on. But I'll show you what I'm doing now. I'm just going to start off doing about 300 calories in the Stairmaster, use it as a warm up as well, get my hamstrings and glutes fired up, and then get on to my stretches before I move on to the main workouts, which I'll take you through. So, so far I've done about 150 calories on the Stairmaster. You can tell that I am sweating and my goal is to do 300 before I start my stretches. So I'm going to do 150 on the treadmill now that I've done 150 in Stairmaster. And then we're going to start our exercises. So that took me about 11-ish, 13 minutes-ish to do 150 on this. So now it should roughly take me about 13 to 14, 15 minutes to do 150. 
on the treadmill. So, I think people always ask whether you should do cardio before or after your weight session. For me, I mean, through studies that I've looked into, ultimately, it's your own pr pr uh, preference. There's no recommended guidance that says, do it this time and do it now, but if, you, if oh, you've done it after your weight, you've messed up or vice versa. So for me, my preference is the amount of workout, or the amount of work I'll put, I put out on the treadmill or even on stair master isn't that hard to destroy my legs. My lifts aren't affected by my cardio prior to lifting and I like to get out beforehand because I know that after my workout I'm probably not likely to finish off a cardio, just want to go home. So my mentality taken into consideration. I just do this beforehand, warms me up, gets my legs going, gets a small twitch, muscle fibers activating and it's a bit of a warm up as well for me so I like doing it before. When will I do it after my workout is when say if I've got high intensity interval sprints that I know I'm going to max out on and it's going to completely mess me up to the point where if you're keeled over breathless and someone goes lift your max now that's not conducive to say a goal of building muscle so then I would aim to work out first and then finish off with like those type of sprints so that's just my own preference but yeah as I'm doing this cardio it's enough for me to be able to walk comfortably and I'm uh, catching up on YouTube so easy peasy nothing too hard so like this 15 minutes 150 calories 300 calories done in total now it's time to start the workout it's quite late so I'm probably going to show you all my workouts just probably the heavy set of my last workout which is deadlifts so I need to be quick it's too late to mess around anyway tired let's go <laughs> that was like take five. <laughs> it was like literally take five. I'll show you my other attempts. So just like that, we are out of gym. It is five past ten, and that was like a what? Well, three hour long workout so definitely need to go home get some to eat and sleep and don't fall down the stairs Ugh. 